Hey guys, this is Martin Wright from Margo's Dog Training up here in Boston, and I have Itty Bit with me. And today we're gonna be continuing our series on muzzle conditioning. So today we'll pick up where we left off the last time. We might do a little bit of review and, um, and get on to Itty Bit wearing her muzzle. We should have some very fun and entertaining things uh, to do with this muzzle and showing you guys how we can acclimate our dogs to it a little bit easier. All right, here we go. So one thing that we didn't talk about yet and we'll probably make a video about is that the muzzles can be shaped. Like this uh, Baskerville muzzle, if I put it in hot water, I could then start to bend it. The problem is, and I could start to reform it so that way it's better for her and she's able to eat better out of it. The problem is that she hasn't worn it enough yet for me to learn how I need to shape it for her. So this is still the very beginning and I'm not, this is an unshaped muzzle um, for this puppy here. So the next thing we have to teach Itty Bit is that she's able to eat food and drink water while wearing the muzzle, right? Um, so that way she knows she could be completely comfortable in it. So I have nothing in the muzzle right now. I put it like this. She puts her head in. Excellent. She'll get food for that. I could see that I still need to do a little bit more work with her with, um, with no food. Yes, good girl. I need to do a little bit more work with her with uh, no food in the muzzle, so that way she'll put her head in there and rest in there. But we're at a pretty good spot to move on. So I take some kibble, I put that in the muzzle. I know, puppy. <laughs> there, you did it right. I slide down again and secure all the way at the bottom here. And then I flip that through. And do you see how many times in this one session I'm doing that whole secure process, right? And then I'm gonna just take a whole bunch of food and put it in here and let her start to figure out that she could, yeah, you really can eat. I might, might need to put more, might need to pile it pretty high. So once she figures out that she can actually eat food, then she will try, there we go. So she's eating from my hand here, but if you could eat from my hand, you could definitely eat from the bowl, right? She just needs to get her head in there and give it a shot. Maybe if I hold the bowl like that. There you go, pup. Give it a shot. I'll give her a little bit more experience eating from my hands. Here. She almost moved through all that really quickly. There you go. <laughs> it's a little messy and that's okay. Excellent. It's okay that it's a little messy, cause she's doing it. All right, we're gonna stop that there because my little girl will become a big girl if I let her eat all that food out of the bowl. Excellent. So next thing we have to do is we have to teach her that she could drink water. And that is next. Okay, so back again, we're gonna teach this young puppy that she could, well, not a young puppy, she's three years old, but we're gonna teach her that she could drink water. So the trick here is I take the food that she loves and I drop that right in the water bowl. Bobbin for water for apples. Gotta try it, pup. So some of this is just waiting around for her to figure it out and to give it a shot. 
Um, some of these things will happen naturally once you start to really condition your puppy, your dog to the muzzle and they're wearing it for a time period in the house, you know, um, eventually they're gonna try to go get water from the water bowl. Hey, sweetie, you can't do that. Good. They're gonna try to get water from the water bowl and that is what we want to see. Right there you saw her bringing her front paws up to her muzzle and I wanna be in the beginning, I wanna be around so that way I could interrupt that. You could also see that this muzzle is right by her eyes so I do need to shape it a bit. You know, it does need to be shaped a bit and bent a bit in order to be able to make her more comfortable with it. Um, I think also if I push in, because you can see there's some space there, so I wanna push in a little bit here so that way it'll be easier for her to get to the food down there um, and the water. Yeah, I know, it's tricky. You have to try hard. Excellent. the shop up. I'm not gonna let her fight against that. Good job, puppy. There you go, try it out. You can bring a dog to water, but you can't make them drink. That's uh, maybe, just maybe. I'll try this. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there, puppy. Get them, get them, get them. So it looks like she doesn't want to drink water right now, um, but I'm going to continue working on that with her. This is my first attempt to get her um, drinking the water. I know what my goal is. I know how she's going to do it. It's just a matter of um, having her, giving her enough opportunity to kind of figure it out. Good job. She already has to understand that she can definitely eat through the muzzle, which is good. So I think it's just a matter of leaving it on letting her get some time with it, letting her run around outside with it, so that way she could get thirsty and then she will be ready to drink water. And now wrapping up, right? Yes. So, um, in closing, what do we see? We see that the puppy now can wear the muzzle with no problem, and when I say puppy, I mean two-year-old dog. It looks like she's starting to drink. Look, she's touching. Yeah, she's drinking a little. That's good. Excellent, good girl. Oh, don't knock over that water bowl. I think I could remove this. See how she behaves here. Mm. Good. Okay, guys. So, in closing, what do we see? We see that Itty Bit now is able to wear the muzzle. Um, I'll be able to leave it on her for longer periods of time. Um, we see how to get her started with eating and started considering drinking water out of the bowl. Um, so we're gonna continue to work on it. As you can see, muzzle conditioning a dog is not that difficult. All dogs should be able to wear a muzzle pretty comfortably because you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, anytime a dog is stressed out, they could need a muzzle. If they get injured, they could need a muzzle. So it's very important. Um, if you like what you see here today and if you like the information that we're giving you, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so that you get our notifications when our new videos come out. Check the description for more links to our other social media accounts so that way you could keep up and involved with what we're doing these days. Our website is on the account as well. You can see that www.argostraining.com. So, till the next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your dog. Good job, itty bit. You did great, girl.